I've had a passion for computers since I was seven. My, my father's an electrical engineer and he actually built his own computer out of parts and I learned basic on that. Um, so I, honestly, I think computers are here to stay and uh, to me, uh, they're kind of the machines of the imagination. Um, they can show you any picture, they can reproduce any sound, they can put you into worlds you've never seen before, such as games, and they can connect you to people across the world, and they control probes on other planets. So if that doesn't still seem exciting, I, you know, I don't know what, what does. Computers are going to get a lot more powerful, a lot faster. Um, they're going to be able to do math uh, that we consider intractable today. So if we can't, problems we can't solve today, we're probably going to be able to solve tomorrow. And the challenge is, is understanding how, how best to, to, in, to interface those with human beings. I mean, computers don't really speak you know, the same language as we do, but they really interact with the world um, and they need to interact with people in a comfortable manner. Uh, so making that happen is, is going to be really important and it's going to be a very hard problem. So uh, I, I can't really imagine, I mean, if you, if you look back at like the 1970s, you know, when computers were just kind of coming into the home and, and getting ready, they had a couple lights on the front panel and some switches. Now you have the power of a supercomputer in your hand, you know, when you're talking about, um, you know, a mobile phone or a device like that and laptops. So uh, another 20 or 30 years, I, I don't even know <laughs> what they would look like. I mean, maybe they'll just be everywhere and you'll just say, hello, computer. And, things will happen. So what, I, what I'm looking for or what I think is really important when somebody is, is like going into an engineering or a math career or you know, with computers you know, specifically is that you know, we, we find people that are, are never happy not knowing an answer. Uh, they always are asking questions. They're always wondering, you know, what if I change something? How can I make this better? Why does this work the way it does? You know, does it have to work this way? And it's just taking somebody who wants to tear the cover off the box and figure out how it works and figure out how to make it better and say, look, this is something I can give to people and, and people can really benefit from it.